Thank you. In Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, on November 19, 1863, then-President Abraham Lincoln delivered his now famous speech at the dedication of the National Cemetery at Gettysburg, a cemetery that had the graves of soldiers from the North and the South that had given up their lives for what they believed in. It is my pleasure to introduce Brandon O'Donoghue, an eighth grade student from Wilmington Middle School who will now read the Gettysburg Address. And as a side note, Brendan's uncle Sean just came home and discharged from the United States military. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and de dedicated in the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that. altogether fitting and proper that we should do. But in, in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hollow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled there have consecrated it, far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will no little note, no longer remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us that the living, rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have this far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause who which they gave us the last full measure of the victory. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in me, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. <coughs> 